Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Our Coast, Our Sea, Our Planet. Now introducing today's host. Hello, I'm Ernie, today's host. Today we will meet with two guests that have come to talk to us about their views on climate change. Now introducing our first guest, Stephen. She is here to tell us about the effects of climate change. Climate change is very important because it affects the temperature of the sea around you. This might start to affect the kind of food that you can find in your native area. Animals and plants will have to move away and live in new areas so that they can survive. Thank you, Stevie. They're introducing our next guest, Sean. Hi, Sean. How are you then? Fine, thanks. So you are here to explain why you think that we can't do anything to stop climate change? Well, yeah, because if climate change is really happening, why bother to stop it? Well, don't you think you could help slow it down? I don't see the point. If the seas become warmer, I'm not bothered because the sea has always been a bit on the chilly side. So, Stevie, what can Sean do to stop climate change? Well, Ernie, Sean could turn off the light, turn off the TV when you're not watching it and more. Well, what's the point? Nobody else is doing it, so who are should I bother? Well, if you stop doing it, maybe other people might start and every little helps. We will now show you a video on climate change and see how you feel afterwards. It was a peaceful and tranquil day deep underwater for the natives of Britain's coastline. La 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 la. Hello everybody. What a great day it is. How are you? Never, Never felt, felt better. better. Suddenly, from high above the sea floor, a boat glided across. Usually this wouldn't startle them, but this time strange brown seed-like dots started dropping down. Hey, what's that? Snow maybe? As soon as the seeds landed, peace was once again restored. But what the creatures did not know was that the brown seeds had started to grow more quickly than the natives. This meant that they could outcompete them for food, light and space to live. Months later, my family has been coming here for years, but it was too cold for us to survive. Now it's getting warmer and it's just right for me. Soon we'll be the only ones here. Mwahaha! <laughs> the creature had completely wiped out the small area of natives. <laughs> Here is just one family who are moving house amongst many others, searching for food and trying to escape the heat they're not used to. This is the Corking Rass family. They live amongst the rocks and seaweed around the coast of Devon. So they were on their way. They took a taxi and flatfish to a place called Scott Golf. Once they reached Scott Golf, they found out there were many other fish there who had the same idea as them. It won't be long before they run out of food and have to move again. Have you seen any fish? Not many since the people moved here. Look, fish. Let's chase them. I'm hungry. Poof. They've gone. You know, ever since that power station's been here, the fish have disappeared. And the water's got warmer. It's climate change. What's that then? The humans are burning fossil fuels in the power stations to make electricity. The more they burn, the more carbon dioxide there is going into the atmosphere. This makes the planet warmer because the sun's rays can't escape through the ever-thickening layer of gases. Even us living in the sea will be affected by this. 2008, 2008 present, present day, day in the southwest. southwest. Hello, my plankton friends. My name is Al Gore, and I'm here to tell you that we need to move now. Please, Due to the effects of climate please, change, our water is heating up faster than we can adapt. Therefore, we need to move north where it's still cool. Oh my gosh, a basking shark, our worst enemy. <laughs> Man, I'm sweating in a sweaty plankton in a heat wave. Poor Al, he was right. Bless his soul. I think we should move north, but how are we going to get there? Why don't we follow the ocean currents? Come on, guys, let's go. In the year 2080 <laughs> AD. Well, that's the longest shortcut I've ever taken. I've heard that as the oceans warm or cool due to climate change, the currents will be affected as well. Water won't freeze in the Arctic, and this will slow down the pull of the seawater through the Gulf Stream. 
I didn't realise how much damage climate change was actually doing. I promise to try harder when using electricity. Well, that's it for today, folks. And be sure to tune in next week's show where we have got Sammy the seal swimming down for a chat on the lack of fish for him to eat. If you're squeamish, I would advise you not to watch next week's show as some of the things that Sammy has to eat is pretty disgusting. Not to mention some of the things that he has swim through. Well, take it easy, folks.